Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I want to give you a very cool little tutorial on some of the tools in DaVinci Resolve's cut page. So if you're not familiar with the cut page, this is basically the new editor in 16 that they introduced that is much faster. And I did a video kind of talking about my small review of it, but now I wanted to talk about sort of go into depth of some of the features as well as go into some of the in-depth features of DaVinci Resolve in general. So if you want to see more of those, be sure to subscribe. I got a lot more of that stuff coming soon. But today we're going to be talking about this tools right here. And basically what this is, is kind of like what the inspector was in the actual editing tab down here. So we have this, uh, we shot on the Ursa Mini Pro G2. Actually, we're going to have a video on the Pocket 4K versus the Ursa coming, so be subscribed for that too. If you click on the tools right here, you can see that we have this pop-up menu of some of those tools now. Now, these are, again, very simple and sort of, you know, basic in essence, but again, it's nice that they're here and they're, I like that you can hide them, you know, and, and they, they take up a low profile where if you see like in the editor, if we were to click on that, like it's taking up a huge piece here, which is nice obviously, but to have it nice and small like that is great. So the first one is the transform and this is how you would zoom in or uh, that's actually the X and Y zoom. Uh, also move the position and then we can X, Y again, uh, rotate. And then we also have this cool plane effect, which that can be really handy if you need to like straighten a shot out. Uh, we also have the image flip. So if you wanted to flip the image, both on the Y and X axis. So again, all of this first one is all transform. And it's going to do that on whatever clip you are on. And that goes for all these. The next one is crop. And I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you wanted to crop an image, you could easily do so. And again, X, Y. And then there's also the feathering. So for instance, let's say we had that, we could then feather it out and then you know if we bring the feather way up you can see that now we have that really feathered line and again uh, you could do some cool stuff with that um, but yeah so that is the cropping so transform cropping this next one we can't click on because there's no audio clip if we had audio clip it would just be uh, some really basic audio stuff actually let's drag one in here so we're gonna take this first little clip here and I'm just gonna chuck that right in the middle so now we go to that clip and this clip has audio. So when we click on the audio, you can see that we can adjust the volume. Uh, but again, that is only for clips that have audio and you know, yeah, that's it. So again, that was the audio. And then next is the speed. So of course this is the actual speed of the clip right here. So we could, you know, obviously adjust this based on its, you know, its percentage. Um, you could also do the duration. So you could base it on that, uh, whatever is easier for you. The next one we have our camera, which is really cool because we have the stabilizer. And again, we have all the different stabilizing techniques here. So the different types, perspective, similarity, translation. We also have, um, you know, some of the actual cropping, feathering, all that kind of stuff. So these are all, you know, you want to mess with these and obviously dig in deep when you are trying to stabilize your footage. Uh, but that's where that is. And then if you click close, um, oh, or actually, if you wanted to reset that, just click that. But if you want to click close. Lens correction, of course, we could do whatever, you know, lens correction. I like that they have the analyzed footage as well because this really helps if you have footage that you realize something is wrong about. Maybe it's the lens you use, but you're not exactly sure how to correct for that. So that's really nice. Uh, yeah, so that's the camera stabilizer and lens correction. The next one is the dynamic zoom. Personally, I don't use this very often and I don't find it very helpful. It's basically just the red is your starting point and the, or I believe it's your green is the starting point and then your red is the uh, end point. Um, I, I don't use this very often. Personally, I would just keyframe uh, this. And if you really want to do that, you would go into the editor to do that. So is it nice? Yes. And is it flexible? Yes, but uh, it's not the greatest. And then the last one, we have composite. So this is the composite, the layer mode. So if you want to have add or if you wanted to have, you know, multiply or whatever, and obviously the opacity of that layer. And of course, you can reset that too. So those are pretty much the basic simple tools that are right there and easy to get a hold of. Again, these are pretty much everything you could get right here in Inspector, the stabilizer, lens correction, the real-time scaling, all that kind of stuff. So it is just bringing that to the cut page and obviously in a much, much simpler and honestly better looking uh, form. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.